the clutch is not the brake, right? The clutch is not the brake. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, it's very, <laughs> it's very sensitive. Today, I will be driving with Canoso Grand Tours. I will be driving this little baby right here. The Abart 500. To start off my driving tour, I am with Valentina right here. She is the director of Canosa Grand Tours. She's starting the driving just because I'm a little nervous about driving in the city itself. And then she'll let me sample a little bit of driving in the countryside. Everyone says that in Italy, you should drive, right? That's the exactly. best way to see Italy. Yeah, exactly. Because you know, there are tiny places that is not they're not that easy to reach with public transportation. So if you have a car, it's the best way so and this car is very tiny so you can actually drive safe around Italy and I think to like discover the the hidden gems that we have that usually you, yeah. you don't get to see that's the, the telepass this is the yellow the big T so you hear this beep and that's very helpful actually because otherwise you will have to stop out your money important thing for oh. you to remember you don't have to enter unless you have the permit because otherwise you get a fine i've heard about exactly. these and that's why i've been afraid to drive here in italy <laughs> especially in cities right exactly there's a lot of these signs exactly and there are usually cameras and they can get your plate and then you'll get a fine uh, we are in castel vetro di modena which is very famous for a wine festival and for the Balsamic vinegar. Unfortunately, these smaller towns kind of get the short end of the stick where they don't get as much recognition as they deserve. And yeah. they're so cute. Exactly, exactly. It's not easy to get to know them, but here you are in the food valley. So when you come to the food valley, you actually have to see them. Are these like houses? Or oh, like... no. These are old churches and castles. And now you can actually visit them. Uh -huh. and they may like into museums see it's squares the black and white oh. squares where you can play chess on oh my goodness yeah. is that like a specific festival yeah to represent the old times uh -huh. ah the view yeah. yeah oh my god this view is amazing absolutely breathtaking so maybe it's that only people who like walk or get on a bicycle can go not a car definitely not a car this is means that you cannot actually park okay anywhere here except for like people like for the ambulance and the police or the people working in the shops uh -huh. or bicycles or uh, you know when there's a funeral <laughs> italian city the small ones are also borghi uh -huh. because they were like castles around which there was like these walls and now here it has remained as it was and then the rest of the city has spread out underneath it so this is the old one so you will see all the bricks or the old stones that were ah oh, this is the church we are heading towards up the hills Levizzano Rangone so if you want you can drive up there the moment of truth <laughs> arrives. Okay. Oh, uh, there you go. The clutch is not the brake, right? The clutch is not the brake, exactly. Okay. okay. Oh, there you go. Yay! Okay. To come to the center and then up. Take two. <laughs> Slowly release the clutch, switch to the other pedal on the right, which is the accelerator. I do it. Take three. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay, okay, there you are. No. Whoa. Take four. <laughs> Eight. Eight. And I five. Cool. Okay, a little bit too much. After sufficient takes, <laughs> I finally got this rolling. Yay! <laughs> she. I'm driving. <laughs> Oh, nice. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is so cool. 
to be able to like drive to all these small towns, you know, that I never thought I'd be able to get to, to see landscapes like this, this is exactly what I wanted to do. Right now I'm creeping along because we're on this really um, kind of small rugged road, country road. We survived. Yeah. <laughs> we survived my driving yes. manual. We did. So this is another castle? Sì. Castello di Levizzano. Levizzano. Bravissimo. Mm. Perfetto. Oh look, they have like a little fountain. Is this like for water or? Uh -huh. Okay, it's been in the tap for a while. <laughs> <laughs> vinegar in here, yeah, right? Definitely, yes. Affinato. Affinato. It's like refined. Mm -hmm. And uh, Extra vecchio, extra, vecchio. extra old. So okay. for the uh, affinato, we must wait at least 12 years. So six is um, really liquid, okay, and uh, a little bit more acidic than the others. Mm. Oh wow, okay. It was a nice like cherry, <laughs> yes. cherry wow. flavor. Initially it smelled kind of like soy sauce actually, but <laughs> it tastes really good. Okay. okay. And then some drops on this, okay? okay. So this one, 26 months, okay, Parmigiano Reggiano. Mm -hmm. Then this is 36 months, okay. okay? So here I'm gonna put 12, and here I'm gonna put, because many people they take six because they put it most of on the salad, and yeah. they like acidic taste. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, it's different from the one of supermarket, so you know that. It's a little bit yeah, it's better. It puts um, balsamic vinegar in a different perspective. I mean, like I buy balsamic vinegar at the supermarket or at Costco, yeah, and exactly. <laughs> it will be hard to go back. <laughs> <laughs> you see it on a different light, like you know, you can use it for so many things. Yeah, it's like when, when she was explaining, like all the different foods exactly. you can eat with this, with yeah. the different ages of vinegar. It's crazy. No, it's just on pineapple, she said. <laughs> Wow, I never tried it, but I will. The aim of every dish is to convey emotions. Mm. What is PDO? Because I'm seeing it throughout this menu. In this case, the Parmesan cheese. Uh -huh. It's certified, the origin is certified. The meat that they use has gone through, well, has met specific requirements. Like authentic. Very, very, yeah, and exactly. Yeah, authentic, very high precious, quality. very high quality. The highest quality. Actually. Fried pasta here. And this is coffee? Cod, I think so, because that's what they had on their menu. Yeah, tapioca, okay. I'm sure. Okay. Mm. It's kind of like a bean burrito bean wrapped up in something very crunchy and tasty. Yeah, yeah I'm just gonna like go, oh. go in full force. Oh. Mm. Yeah, there's a piece of cod mm. or some kind of fish, like, Slice like a sashimi, no, it's not sashimi, but like a slice of fish on mm. this nice crunchy little chip. Oh my god, that's wonderful! Oh, these little bits are parmesan or parmesan parmigiano. Parmigiano. Yeah, you can smell it. Mm. Really? Mm. Mm. You can yeah. really taste the parmigiano. Mm, you can, it's very yeah. strong. Yeah. What kind of cheese was that? When I pulled it, it was like... Mm. It's called the stracciatella. Because it's, it's stracciatella. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, I swear. <laughs> oh, this is very distinct. The truffle is exactly. very distinct. Exactly. The truffle has like a weird consistency. Mm -hmm. It doesn't crunch like I thought no, it would. No, no, it doesn't crunch. Exactly, it's very soft actually. To me, it's really, really good. And the truffle, I mean, you have to like it. It's very, very different flavor from everything, anything else. It 
That's interesting too. Okay. The basil is kind of like a going mm -hmm. in a different that, direction. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is, right? Yeah. You've got sweet and then that that and then, mm, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, they're both delicious. delicious. They're yeah. both delicious. This is very, very delicate in my opinion. Thank you. Like, check off the bucket list. I got to drive in the Italian countryside and it was a remarkable experience. <laughs> and in certain areas in Italy, people will actually, like travelers will recommend that you see it only yeah. through a car. Exactly, you can reach places that you wouldn't be able to reach otherwise as we did today. So driving these narrow, narrow roads and she did a great job on Emmanuel actually, on Emmanuel Schiff. But yeah, Carossa Grand Tours are like that. You it's a very curated tour, right? Exactly. And also we have the people having uh, always be there for you if you have any problems. So. Okay. So I just like you were in my car with me exactly. But if I were like in a bigger group or something mm -hmm. you might have like a caravan and someone goes on You always gonna have a safe experience. Exactly. You're always oh, definitely. low definitely. stress yeah, experience. Yeah, exactly. We want you to have a relaxed experience, but to be unique. I highly recommend it. I wish I had longer to stay uh, yeah. to do this because the packages are a little longer, right? Yeah, exactly. It's usually one week program, but we also are planning to do a weekend program. So to more focus tour on the food valley, on the motor valley, which is near Modena. So check the link down below. Weave it into your next trip to Italy. Canossa Grand Tours. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. It's through resourcefulness and viewers like you who keep my channel going. So if you love what I do and want to see me continue creating solo travel videos, why not support me on Patreon? This is a perfect way to see Italy.